Coach Tori Brady open with an opening statement, and then after that we'll take questions for student athletes Chase Sweeney and also Janae. Coach. Well, I have a lot to say, first of all, so I'm not sure they're going to get their opportunity to speak here. So um, I'm just so excited for our, our, our team and our program and our, our players. You know, everything that you know we've been through, I mean, just uh, the fact that they're so resilient, so tough. Um, and I thought tonight that, uh, you know, we just outworked them. Uh, we outworked them. We out-toughed them. Um, you know, we executed both offensively and defensively. And uh, these two uh, to my right here didn't play all that bad either. So. Um, but I'm, I'm thrilled for our program. Um, it's just, uh, you know, another day for us. And, um, you know, we don't know what the future holds. Uh, that's how we kind of approach what, we're, what we've been doing. Uh, we, we just take day by day and, uh, you know, we'll find out what tomorrow brings us. Questions for Janae and also I kind of just want to put my team in a position to win, so let's put this in my mind all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, the the last time that we, you know we lost to them, um, obviously very disappointing. You know, we controlled that game for 34 minutes. Um, and it was the last six minutes that we allowed to get away from us. Um, it became a half-court game. Um, you know, they do a really good job of executing in the half-court, uh, you know, and, and they took advantage of their size, and they pounded the ball inside. And, you know, we knew coming to this game that, you know, that was probably going to be their ammo offensively. Um, we spent a lot of time preparing for that. Um, but um, as far as, you know, winning nine of our last ten and playing well, it doesn't surprise me, you know. Um, you look at, you know, uh, these kids in our program, and you know um, they're obviously uh, talented offensively, you know, and, and they're starting to realize that you got to play both sides of the ball. And um, when you commit uh, to playing really, really good defense, um, you put yourself in a position to win basketball games, and that's what we're doing. We're allowing our defense to uh, dictate. Our defense creates our offense. Uh, you know, we try to turn team, teams over. Um, defensively, and we, you know, and, and get deflections and steals, so we can push it offensively and, and take advantage of it. But uh, you know, I, I think that uh, the the other side of it is, is just that they believe, you know, and um, they believe, and you know, uh, obviously, you know, since the you know everybody's aware of the you know tragedy that has taken place, you know, we we want to do something special, and we want to do something for Shanice, and uh, this was her goal to get here and win a championship, and. Um, you know, these guys, you know, you talk about, you know, family and what that really means. You know, a lot of teams go out there, family on three, and, and, and they say family. But I'll tell you what, um, these kids truly know the definition of family. And um, I, I love being with them every single day. Um, I'm just so, so proud of them. I mean, yeah, just because I'm from there, but it's not really a big thing to me, just because I'm from there. <clears throat> I think a lot of us are used to playing on a big stage, you know, coming from our backgrounds. I mean, you know, there's a transition from high school to college, but at the same time, you know, everybody's had great um, high school careers, but also our coaches, um, they've taught us very well uh, how to handle certain situations and not to play like a freshman, not to play like a sophomore because we are so young. So we just got to um, um, be a little bit more advanced than other people our age, I guess. Definitely being disciplined, which is something our coaches have been preaching all year, um, and post play a lot as well. Uh, Pooney and Rachel and a lot of the guys down there, Jamaica, have come up huge for us. But staying disciplined on defense, and we've been good. Janae, Jay, 
let you get back to the locker room. We'll let Coach stay for a few more questions. Okay. <laughs> Just stay in the course, you know, and we, we talk about it all the time. It's a 40 minute game, and, you know, and we just want to, I mean, the biggest key, obviously, tonight was to, to box out and rebound and go pursue the basketball. And, and, you know, there are times where a shot goes up and we kind of just turn and stare. And, um, you know, I, I thought our kids did a great job pursuing the basketball. They had a want to off the charts, and, you know, they knew that if, if we were able to stop them, um, and get defense rebounds, then, you know, we could attack offensively. Um, you know, and I, I think, you know, um, it's hard, you know, a, as an opponent to play this pace. And, um, and, and, you know, our goal, you know, we knew that they were going to play seven kids. And our goal was to continue to push them and push them and push them and, and eventually try to wear them down. And it was like one body blow after another. And, you know, I just felt that, you know, we kept rotating kids in and, um, you know, kind of ran right by them at times. Um, and, and that was the key. Um, is it, it, the key was to outwork them. Um, and, 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 you know, we, we talked about all the little things, and all the little things were all the 50-50 balls, loose balls, even though we gave up a couple, you know, towards the end of the game. But throughout the, the course of the game, I thought our kids did a really, really good job of, you know, getting those, getting on those, um, rotating over and picking up charges and those, those kind of things. But, um, you know, they, they just they believe in one another. Um, and, um, you know, they're, nothing phases them. You know, I talk to them, I, I do my pregame speech, and, you know, I holler and yell and go crazy, and Shay just looks at me with a blank stare all the time. Half the time, she doesn't even listen to me. I mean, I have no idea what she's thinking about, SpongeBob or something like that, but um, I have no idea. But um, she's just very poised, and she doesn't get rattled. Um, and and she's, she has grown up, um, I, I mean, this year, uh, especially the, 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 the second half of, of the uh, conference uh, season, where she doesn't get rattled and she could take over a game um, and have that um, composure towards the, uh, the stretch. No, no question about it. You know, and um, you know, we want we, we want to make this to be honest with you a pickup game, and um, you know, have them take quick shots and, and, and you know, and what they couldn't do is is execute in half court and, and, and take twenty you know, 25 seconds. And um, so our goal was to pressure them and, you know, um, get into the uh, front court about, uh, you know, 20 or below, um, and, then, and then go from there. Well, I mean, <clears throat> the first, I'll be honest with you, the first time I saw her play, I'm like, why am I even here watching this game? And it wasn't because of her stature. It was because she's too talent. she's, she's talented and that she was probably going to go to a BCS level school. And um, I, I think one of the best things that I did once I got this job was to uh, hire Candace Finley, who was my assistant coach, who coached with the Michigan crossover team, who had ties in with their program and their kids. And she's like, you got to see this kid. And so, you know, I showed up, and obviously she's she was small, but she's mighty. And I, I, I mean, I re remember very vividly that we're at Nike Nationals in Augusta, and playing in front of a packed house, and you have BCS level coaches all littered around the court, and she took over the game. And I just shook my head. I'm like, there's no way. And then down the stretch, obviously, um, you know. We, we, there was a couple of Mac schools involved with her, along with LSU, Miami. I mean, BCS level schools, and I'm just shaking my head, and I'm like, if this happens, it's going to be pretty special, and um, it has been. Thank you. Congratulations.